It's the weekend, the word for you today, good little devotional. It says, you have more to learn. Hosea chapter 6. When's the last time you've been in the book of Hosea? Hosea chapter 6 says, let us acknowledge the Lord. Let us press on to acknowledge Him. As surely as the sun rises, He will appear. He will come to us like the winter rains, like the spring rains that water the earth. There's a lot in here. What is he saying? Well, let's take a look. And, and the basic thrust of it is, is for us to continue to learn. First of all, he says, let us acknowledge the Lord. Acknowledge the Lord means to come to know. Let us come to know the Lord. And then he goes on, let us press on to acknowledge him. What does that mean? It means to keep on learning, to learn more and more. Keep on learning. You, you've You've learned about God, good. Learn some more things. Get to know Him better. We could never learn everything about God. Totally impossible. So as you keep learning, just realize you're never going to learn, run out of things to learn about God. All we're going to do is we get to know Him better. It just gets better and better. And how do we learn about Him? Through Bible study and then prayer time with Him. Just talking to Him. Not necessarily asking Him for anything, but just getting to know Him. Tell him what you're feeling, what you're going through. Just ask him questions. You say, well, will he answer? He'll answer. He answers in a lot of different ways. Sometimes you'll hear something in your head that you wouldn't have thought of. Sometimes he'll lead you to a scripture in the Bible. Sometimes he'll use another person. Sometimes it'll be an experience. There's a lot of different ways that God will, will speak to us. So let us acknowledge or come to know the Lord. Let us press on to acknowledge him. Let us help. Let us grow to know him better and better. And as surely as the sun rises, he will appear. Um, in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, he said, And without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. What is he saying? He said, if we seek after him, we will find him. As surely as the sun rises, God will appear. Tomorrow morning, will the sun come up in the east? It will. If it doesn't, we're all in trouble. Well, just as surely as that's going to happen, God appears. He is there. God will make himself known to everyone who genuinely seeks after him. And then it says, and he will come to us like the winter rains. A farmer back in those days, they, they, um, in that area, there were two seasons of rains. There were the winter rains and the spring rains. The winter rains prepared the land for the seed that would be sown later on in the spring. This is like the time we have with God. We're getting to know God. We, we're reading the Bible and we're, we're finding out that His nature is love. Is God a God of love? Yes. Is He a God of justice? Yes. But His nature, His real nature is love. He wants to love us. And so as we get to know those things about him, it's like the winter rain. It's, it's preparing the soil for the seed. It's preparing our hearts and our soul to get to know him better. And then it says, like the spring rains that water the earth. The spring rains came, the, the seed was planted in the ground, and, and it was able to do that because of the winter rains that prepared the soil. The seeds in the ground, the spring rains come, nourishing the seeds so that they can grow and produce a harvest. Um, there are times when we've experienced God's goodness and things are going great. And like the spring rains, we just see things happen and it's great, it's exciting, and it's a fun way to live. But you know, there are some times when we've come to know God and we go through life and there's some tough things that are happening and we don't seem to hear him. We don't seem to see him. And it gets tough, just like a farmer who plants that seed and then the rain doesn't come and the rain doesn't come and the rain doesn't come. Will it come soon enough? Well, the farmer is, is praying because all he can do is pray that God would send the rain. And for our growth in, in, in the Lord, it's about us Spending time with Him, getting to know Him, and just allowing Him to grow us. After the farmer plants his crops, he waits expectantly for the rain. As we read the Bible, as we get to know God, 
We wait expectantly to see what he's going to do in our lives. And even though it may take a while, he will always appear. God will always come through. You know, there, you can ask God any questions, any question. There's a story about a father and son going fishing one day. And, and after a couple hours being out in the boat, the boy suddenly became curious about things. And he said, hey, Dad, how does, how does this boat float? How does it keep from sinking? And the father thought for a moment, he says, no, I don't rightly know, son. The boy went back to fishing and thinking, looking around him more, and he said, Dad, how do fish breathe underwater? Again, the dad replied, you know, I, I don't really know, son. A little later, the boy asked the father, Dad, how come the sky is so blue? Again, the father replied, don't rightly know, son. Worried that he was asking too many questions and annoying his father, the boy said, Dad, do you, do you mind me asking you all of these questions? His father said, of course not, son. If you don't ask questions, you'll never learn anything. Well, now, I don't know if the boy learned anything that day or not either. But I can promise you this. God will answer you. He won't say, I don't rightly know. God knows, and he'll tell you. We have more to learn had one man tell me one time that uh, he didn't go to church because he'd heard just about every sermon that there was. You know, that's, that's really pretty sad because God has more to say to him. God wants to use him in ways that he's never used him. And he doesn't know everything about God. And what he did is he cut himself off from growing and learning more about God. So today, how about you? Are you open to learning more about God? Do you believe there is more for you to learn about God? Do you want to? Have a good day.